Thank you for your exaggerated introduction. Agotovach. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yagdol Tate is an organization that supports and creates awareness for Lima da Toira. Now, let's be honest. We all know it's important to learn Toira, but there is a question that I believe very few have addressed. It's a question that everyone here asks, whether consciously or subconsciously, and that is, why is it that we find many people, we find people who learn a lot of Torah, but we have very little to learn from them? Isn't Torah supposed to influence our behavior? And obviously we need to first understand what does it mean that Torah influences a person's behavior? We don't have to look too far to find an answer. After all, Chassidus teaches us that an in-depth understanding of the world around us gives us an understanding of our relationship with Eivishta. So if we're seeking an understanding of how Torah influences a person, let's look around and see an example of the influence of Torah. Technology is a perfect example. Many of us here have brought with us a cell phone tonight. I assume that many of us have a camera on that phone. Does anyone have film for that camera? Now think about this for a second. Tonight you're laughing. But years ago you would laugh if you didn't have film. Years ago, an employee in Kodak thought he had a secure job. Today, Kodak is bankrupt. How did this transformation happen? This is the power of technology. Technology is not just an idea. It's the brain of society. A change in technology is a change in the behavior pattern of society. Every area in our life has been revolutionized due to the digital age. Whether it's in areas of security, medicine, finance, everything. Teira Lahavdil is the same. Teira is not a collection of ideas. Teira changes our perspective of the world. Whether in parenting, marriage, or business, Teira is a mindset, a perspective. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. But there's a catch. Yes, there are people who learn Torah, but we have nothing to learn from them. And that's because we need to learn Torah with the same attitude as those who come up with new technology. Breakthroughs come as a result of people who challenge the norm. They don't get sucked up into the reality we live in. They're seeking to create a new reality, to change the way the world thinks. We need to ban the words, but what will the world say? We need to be in control and not have the world control us. We need to learn title like a businessman, not like a professor. There are many professors who study, but they aren't businessmen. Their goal isn't to make the research a reality. They seek to get their research paper printed in a prestigious journal. They're not looking to make a difference. A transformation can only happen through people who are willing to challenge the norm. This attitude is at the core of what Chassidus is all about. To the extent that when the Alter Rebbe came out of jail, and he was visiting one of the Goyinim of Vilna, and he was asked, what's the Chiddush of Chassidus? The Alter Rebbe answered that Chassidim set aside time to learn Kviyasitim Latoira. The Goyin looked at him and said, what do you mean? We all do that. 
the Alter Rebbe explained. In Tilchsidis, people set aside time to learn. With Chsidis, people set themselves aside for the Torah. There's Kvies Itim Bizman and there's Kvies Itim Benefesh. Being able to challenge the natural self we are born into and put it aside, that is Chsidis Chabad. So let's be clear. Learning Torah is not just acquiring knowledge. It's changing our perspective, the Yichud Nifl of Tanya. But in order for it to have an impact, we need to challenge ourselves. Challenge the worldviews, the Hanach Yisraelom, rather than follow them. It's not about getting our thoughts printed, it's about getting them imprinted, ingrained in our consciousness. And that's the beauty of Yagdal Toyota. It's not easy for a professional to take time and learn. We have busy schedules. We don't learn for the sake of a research paper. If we take time to learn, we mean it. We want to make our learning real. The learning of Balabatim is cherished by the Abishter. It's simply Torah Lishma. This is the kind of learning that influences a person. I'm confident that the thousands of hours of Torah study generated by Yagdal Torah have nurtured caring parents and caring spouses. Parents that not only care for this physical welfare of our children, but are also tuned into the educational needs of our children. The hours of Torah study have been the core inspiration for many to volunteer their time and effort for the sake of others. Learning is the pillar on which all other great causes depend on. Let us leave tonight with a resolve to not only add a sheer in limit Torah, but to strengthen the quality time that we give to the already existing shiurim. Chsidis is not a vitamin, it's oxygen. It's the only way Torah will ever have an impact on us. Let us remember that we are here we are meant to follow. We are not meant to follow. We lead. We won't be controlled. Through Chassidus, we are in control. We have the ability to change ourselves, our Hanach HaSa'ilam. This kind of attitude applied consistently will pave the way for the ultimate change of the world when Vorol Kobosa Yachtav, with the coming of Mashiach, said, Kainu Bekar of Mamish. Thank you.